They're big, heavy and built to keep commuters safe, more than 50 metres beneath Brisbane. Tonight, Seven News can give you an exclusive look as the final concrete blocks for the Cross River Rail's tunnels roll off the production line. Sitting in a yard at Wakehole, rows and rows of concrete stacked like poker chips. This has certainly been our biggest challenge. Weighing 4.2 tonnes, it's the last time these large blocks will see sunlight. There's six segments to a ring and each one of the rings forms part of the tunnel. They interlock with each other and they create the strength around the tunnel. So they're a really important and integral part of the Cross River Rail Tunnel. Working 24 hours a day, five to seven days a week, 130 staff at Wagner's have moulded, cast and shaped more than 27,000 concrete segments. It's been a great project to be a part of, you know, a significant bit of infrastructure for Brisbane. Taken by truck and loaded onto two tunnel boring machines drilling deep underneath the city, segments already line most of the 5.9 kilometre twin tunnels. What started here a year ago is now complete and then we'll see the tunnel boring machines emerge before the end of this year. Once the last of these 3,000 segments roll off the yard in the next few weeks and head to Woolloongabba, it'll mark the next exciting phase of Cross River Rail. So once the tunnel is complete, then we move to the stage of the fit out of the tunnel. So it's really moving to this exciting stage where we'll see what is a tunnel will start to turn into a railway. Reshaping public transport in Brisbane. Elliot Chipper, 7 News.